the rest of the stuff that came in the box um extra set of uh wheel nuts um four screws not sure what they're for four extra pins that's kind of nice two body clips a wrench screwdriver a charger and one lipo 1600 milliamp uh 7.4 volt i believe this is a lipo doesn't actually tell you it's a lipo but i think it is um Instruction booklet should tell you all that. Tires, extra set of tires, that's pretty nice, you know. Give you a lot of extra stuff with this car. So, yeah, that's basically what it comes with. Okay, here's what the car looks like with the body off. Um, I thought I didn't get two batteries with, with this package, but I actually did because one is stored in the car when they ship it and the other one isn't. So I've already got that battery charged. I should pull this and get this one charged. Let's uh, zoom in on this a little bit so you can see it as best as possible. And let's get it back in position here. Kind of see what's going on. And that's basically what the inner workings look like. Um, you've got your combination uh, ESC and a receiver all in one here. It does have a uh, three wire servo which is nice it's got De Dean's connectors here I just call them T connectors but whatever um, your body mounting towers and stuff pretty nice now the shocks um, they are actually adjustable they're threaded so that's nice you can actually adjust the tension on them that's a nice feature the spoiler on the back it looks a little bit a little bit we just you know it is what it is um this car also comes with a uh, willy bar on it so that's kind of nice it's got nice anodized metal body or chassis whatever it's a good all-around little car overall the car's been running really well um i only had one issue i i ran it a couple times and both times i ended up losing a wheel and what the problem was is there's a small washer it's um, like copper brass whatever um, and it's um, it goes over the axle just in front of the, the bushing or I mean um, the bearing and then <clears throat> then your pin goes into the axle and then your your hex nut over the top of that you know so you know that's how it sits like that um, one of them didn't have this this um, brass washer so 
what I did is I got a 10 millimeter, I went to the local hardware store and got a 10 millimeter um, nylon um, washer and that worked perfect. It worked, it's a little bit thicker than, than the brass one. It ended up being a little bit thicker, 10 millimeter like I say, but um, it, the, the brass one is, is kind of bowed, you know, it's got a bowed shape to it. But this, this ended up working really good on the front axles. The front axles had more slop in them. Um, I'll see if I can get in focus here. The front axles had more slop in them than the, than the rear, so that worked out really well. The pin holds in good, and I'm not losing wheels anymore. I'll probably order some more of these um, little brass washers. But um, for now, I can run the car, and it, it's not losing wheels, and I'm real happy with that. So... You know, when you put your stuff together, it, it came like that. It just came missing one. I don't know when they assembled. They forgot to put one on, I guess. But um, just watch for that. If you're losing wheels, that's just a little clue. There's what the motor looks like with the heat sink off. Um, I don't see any writing on it, but in the manual, it'll tell you what kind of motor it is. But anyways, that's the heat sink that goes on there. Pretty nice. And um, yeah, that's it, man. Battery's held in with a little strap. Fits in there nicely. And uh, looks like it comes out. And there is a little stop there. It's got like a little cage in there to hold the battery. So if you want to put a bigger battery, you'd have to cut that plastic a little bit. But um, yeah, that's a nice little car. I like it.